are watching Revelations, we are the biggest spiritual platform. Yes, we educate the public with everything spirituality, everything African, everything Ghanaian, everything blacks. Yes, and my name is Mami Grace. I am Revelations, and today I am here with Toby. That's the only name I can mention. The name is Toby. So when he started, he start talking, he will mention his full name to the public. Toby, welcome to Revelations. Once again, I welcome you, the beautiful viewers. Okay, Toby, welcome. Please greet our viewers and mention your name to them. Okay, thank you, Mami Grace. I'm Togbi Hanoji, Dogbe, Evalia, Dufia, of Wogbato Kliko from the Volta region. A Ghanaian scientist and the manufacturer of Hanoji Cocos Polytechnic Mixture. You, you heard it. The name is too big, I cannot mention. Mm -hmm. And he's going to talk about African superpowers. Okay, so Toby, once again, I welcome you and your Ochiami. Okay, Toby, when they say African superpowers, what are we talking about? Well, actually, um, when it comes to African superpower, uh, we are actually looking at when Africa will also rise to become great in the world as other nations have risen. Now, there are certain things that are supposed to happen before this vision materializes. Now, um, there is a prophecy about the future of Africa. Now, when you look here, we have here the heads of the future African superpower revealed. The heads. There are certain souls that have been prepared to help Africa to become a great superpower for 400 years. Now, the names of these souls have been written down. It's been documented thousands of years ago. And the document is there. The, 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 the test or the gospel is there. It has been hidden. And today you will get to know some of these things. Now, when it comes to the scriptures, the things that are to happen within a period of 8,000 years have been written in 366 books. And with time, most of these books were hidden so that we don't get to know what will be happening in the future. But uh, as is being said, everything that is hidden will be revealed on and revelations on revelations and today we are very happy that um, god has risen mommy grace to use her to relieve the african people hmm. why because through revelations this program of Mami Grace will come to know and understand, to have hope for the future. Mm. Now, this prophecy was actually made concerning a land that was not occupied for so many years until it became occupied, which is West. Africa. The scriptures have spoken about West Africa thousands of years ago when it was when there was no nation there. And when you look into these scriptures, if you read 2nd Ezra chapter 1, if you read from verse 1 to 40, you realize that 
God was talking about some 15 people that he will raise at the end time. And these people will lead the world for 400 years. These are souls, old souls that will come back and help a lost people that have gathered in West Africa. Now, the ancient Hebrews that migrated all the way from the east and came to settle at the west of Africa have a great prophecy awaiting them to manifest in the next few years. Now, when you look at this, you realize that these four periods that God has planned from the beginning, everything that was planned for these four periods has manifested one after the other until we are left with the last two. The first is the five and a half, half days promised to Adam, which manifested for 5,000 years. And the record is there. If you read one of the books that was written by Adam himself, which God lost, but God sent Ark Angel Michael to show them to Enoch when he ascended to heaven. He wrote books himself. All what God told him, he wrote there and descended, brought it back to earth before ascending again. Similarly, Ezra also ascended and had wisdom of these bulls because along the line, most of these bulls got lost. So God gave them to Ezra again. And today, most of those books are lost again. But today, I'm letting you know that you are beginning to receive insight into them. To know how the future is and what is there for Africa. And what is there for Africa? You are watching Revelations. The platform is open for sponsorship and advertisement. You can call us and talk to us about it. You can follow all our social media platforms. Jerome 2020, AA Instagram, Facebook, AA Mami Grace, and our YouTube, so, so, AA Mami Grace. Once again, I welcome you. I am here with Togwi. So, Togwi, uh, what you are saying, you said there are some 15 names that is written. It means yes. you know. Yes. And there are books. You mentioned like 45 or how many books? 366, 366 books. books. Yes. That is written yes. about this African superpowers. Mm. Please, we want to know the names, if possible, and the books. Okay. Thank you. Well, um, if you read Second Ezra's, Second Ezra's, Okay, chapter 1, from verse 1 to 40. Now, uh, from verse 38, it reads, And now, brother, behold, what glory, and see the people that come from the east, unto whom I will give for leaders, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Usaias, Amos, and Michael, jo Joel, Abidias, and Jonas, Nehum, and Abakuk, Sophianis, Agios, Zachary, and Malachi, which is also called an angel of the Lord. These are 15 people. And what God is doing is, all the Hebrews, the ancient Hebrews that he has guarded in West Africa, out of each of these nations, these 15 nations, will arise a great leader. From the year 2060, they will begin to give birth to them. 
2060. For, yes, from the year 2060. They'll begin to give birth to them one after the other until around 2083. When Henry is part of them. Your grandfather? Yes. It's part of them. But the name you mentioned, there's no Henry in it. I'm talking about all souls who are being sent back, who will be sent back. So, all souls. He was a reincarnated soul. He was a reincarnated soul. So God is bringing him back for this mission. But all these people you mentioned are come and gone. Yes. So they are coming again with same name. No, 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 no. It doesn't happen like that. When you come again, you are given a new name. You are given a new name. Yes. But you know these souls are coming back. Yes, these are the souls coming back. Uh -huh. And his soul is one of these old souls. Okay. Yes. So he was one of these. He was one of these. Back and came they back and eliminated him again. Yes. And he went back to join and them. He's, yes. And now he's waiting for them. Exactly. To come back. Twen yes. With a new name. Exactly. Okay. Then he will come in 2083. He will be born 2083. Because I was told it will be two jubilees after I was born. And the jubilee is the 50th year. So two jubilees will be like 100 years. Okay. So 100 years from 1983 is 2083. So it's around that year that what, that's his soul, what, will return. Okay, we'll come back here for the other question, mm -hmm. but let's go to the books, the mm -hmm. lost books. Yes. You, if not all, there are many, but mention the maybe 12 vital ones and then we go. Oh, yes. The lost books, we have books that were written by Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve. Yes, the first people that was created. Was Adam name? was the first person that was created. So, um, initially those books got lost and then it was Enoch that ascended to heaven and then God make Ark and Je he made Ark and Jemichael to get all those uh, 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 what they had written of what all that happened during their time. He got them back to Enoch. So Enoch penned them down. Enoch penned Adam and Eve. Yes. They are books down. Exactly. So are you saying the book of Enoch yes. is Adam and Book's book? No, they, they are, they are, the, the book of Enoch, they are things he has written of all what he has seen. And the books that even, the, uh, he was told, he was, it was explained to him that the books are all 366. And then Adam and Eve book is part of it. It's part of the 360. It's, yes, it's, I it's wanted to it. know if you can give us some of the names. We all know about the book of Enoch. Mm -hmm. We all know about it. Yes. So if you can give us a few books, like maybe Adam and Eve, their book is called maybe Book of Adams, or maybe if you have names. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, uh, that book is just that uh, the Apocalypse of Adam and Eve. Okay. If maybe someone wants to mm, search it yes. uh -huh, mm. to get to know. Okay. Then uh, apart from the book of Enoch too, mm -hmm. we have Ezra's. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have we have, uh, we have uh, Tobit. Mm -hmm. We have Baruch. Mm -hmm. You see. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, a vision of Edo. Mm -hmm. You see. Uh -huh. um, then we have one book that contains the mystery of these books. That one is a very small book. In a metal frame, uh, this thing. That one is there. Now that one, I, I even have it up to today. What's the name of the book? Mm -hmm. That one, uh, there is an ancient, uh, an ancient me metallic golden writing on it. Okay. That's uh, maybe the next time when I'm coming, I will bring it. Okay. For that one is tied to the rod of iron, a uh, rod of iron. iron. Okay, Rod of Aaron. Aaron the Aaron yes. draws that your grandfather was yes, having. Yes, yes. So do you, that that, one do you is still tied have to that, that rod in your family? Yes. Wow. That rod is there up to today. And it's moved from generation to generation. Okay. Yes. So uh, the books, you've mentioned some of the books. Mm -hmm. You've mentioned um, the name of uh, mm -hmm. these people. Do you know about the Negro Bible? The Negro Bible. Yes, I have heard of it, but um, it's, it, it's, 
it's not one of these three cities books. That's what I wanted to ask. Uh -huh. It's not one of them. One of, and one of none them. of these my books is also in it. Um, uh, there are certain things you'll find. Uh -huh. Certain things, certain things you'll it's find, but it's not, yes. Okay, so till then, now we know these people are going to be born. I yes. wanted to ask a question, but I'll hold on. Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask, these are great people. Yes. You die and you go and sit there mm -hmm. for how many years to come before you come? I'm saying they who and some are many on bed day. But let's hold it there. Mm -hmm. So before this um, 2060, whatever, that these people will come, they will be born, yes. grow. Like, we, let's assume they, ascend, they, they assume duties on 20 kra. Let's just say 80 years. No problem. We are patient. We will wait. So before then, what is going to happen to Africa, especially my Ghana? Mm -hmm. Yes. Before then... Uh, Ghana and Africa have to know this lost gospel, understand these lost gospels. Lost books. This lost book, they have to know it. Mm -hmm. And not imprison ourselves within, um, like I said, it's 366 books. The Bible is 66 books. Okay? And then it means there are 300 more books. You understand? So, um, if we get maturity in understanding the things of God and the future, it means that we have to know about the three, the things within the other 300 books in addition to the CDC's this book to be complete as to the knowledge of what is about to happen. Then Africans will be able to take their destinies into their own hands because there are secrets. There are secrets that can things around for Africa. But unless they go and read they, these books. Yes, the secrets within these books have to be known. And one of the things is um, there is a problem in Africa, there's a problem of who God is. A lot of people are misinterpreting the idea of God. And that has led to problems for us to what? emancipate ourselves in terms to the, of the knowledge of God. Because with the knowledge of God, we'll be able to overcome. So first, let us have the knowledge of God, the wisdom about God. Who is God? Africa has to understand and know who God is. Then when we channel our wisdom or our mind in that direction, you will see that everything will change. Can you give us a bit about someone to know who God is? Educate us in two minutes. Make us understand how to understand who God is. Okay, good. You see, before this whole universe, um, that which created all this universe became stationary and beheld all things. Because if he moves, everything will collapse. So there was an, an emanation of himself that became mobile. So it means that we have the stationary God that beholds the entire galaxy and for everything to be stable and work by itself. For nothing to what? To, to spoil. And then, he being stationary and moveth not, but beholds all things, created emanation out of him, which is himself emanating as a mobile God. That mobile God is what is called Yehoshua. That mobile self that emanated out of him is what we call Yehoshua. Or we call Yahushi. You see? So that emanation that came out of him, it is out of that emanation that came of him that all souls were created. All souls of the human race were created. So that emanation that came out of him is, is the firstborn of every creature. That Yehoshua is the one that spoke to Adam that in five and a half days 
I will come and save you. Which is the mobile God. That became Jesus. That became Jesus. Now the stationary God, when the souls were created, the stationary God presents itself as what? Uh, 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 within the human DNA. So all the souls that were, that, that the human beings that came into the world, they had the stationary God in their DNA. So if they have to look or they want, they have to look or to, they want to see God, then it means that wherever they see a human being, they then they have him. seen him. When they do any evil to a next fellow, then they have done it to God. Because he is within us. Yes, within so the... If you want to see God and you see your fellow man... You have seen, yes, God. you have seen God. So any bad thing you do to the person, you've done it to God and you receive the uh, punishment. Okay. Uh -huh. So that is how it... So we have to begin to understand the concept of God. And you see, the main reason why the mobile, the mobile God that emanated out of the stationary God, the main reason why he came was that after Adam and Eve sinned, they fell under punishment of Satan. So anytime every human being dies, they were being imprisoned somewhere. There is a, a certain place, it's an eternal reign of darkness. And all the souls that died were imprisoned there. So for over 5,000 years, it was like that. But Adam had the promise from the beginning. God knew that once he sinned, he would go to that place with all his generations. So the mobile God promised him that that will happen, but at the end of 5,500 years, he will come and save him and his generation from that prison. I so that's the so reason why, why Jesus came he came and, saved. and when he died for 66 hours, when he died for 66 hours, he broke into the gates of hell. And that's where he saved that's all cool. of them and then they ascended. He saved all the souls and took them back to. To where? The Garden of Eden. The Garden of Eden. Yes, the paradise. He took them over there. Okay. You see? So that's one of the main reasons why Yehoshua came. Yehoshua, which we call Jesus today. Okay. One of the main reasons was that the promise he made to Adam in the garden, he has to fulfill it at the end of the five and a half days, which is the 5,500 years. So by AD 24, that was when he died and went there. And took all of them away. Away. Uh -huh. So now when somebody dies, yes. he doesn't go to prison again, but he goes to paradise. Uh -huh. Now, just after that time mm -hmm. that that thing happened, mm -hmm. uh, anybody that dies, if the person believes in him, then the person don't go to that place. Because he is the direct emanation of God. So you can say he's God. Because the stationary God is there. And then he created, a, he like, like cloned himself, like he created a mobile of himself. And that mobile of himself is the Yehoshua. So if you've seen that Yehoshua, then it, understand. You, you understand. Uh -huh. understand. So he is the one that uh, came to save the people. So now if somebody died today, from that time, 2,000 years up to now, anyone that dies, if you believe in him before you died, then you will not go to that prison. That you prison place, him. you go to. But if you don't believe, if you him. don't believe in, you go to that place. And that place, there is, there are spirits with se the serpentine heads. With uh, they are very wicked. That they maltreat the souls in the in that dungeon of darkness. Is that what we call hell? That the, you can yes yes you can see hell. So, you understand? Okay, uh -huh. now then let me. I, I the African superpowers is much much important to me. Mm -hmm. So those who have died. Yes. And uh, is re and are ready to reincarnate yes. to come and redeem Africa for us to become African superpowers. Yes. Are they in prison or they are in paradise? Oh, those ones, all of them are in the paradise. All of them are in the in, So in they are paradise. sending them on a mission. On a mission. So yes. is the, they are coming. Is it a plan or they are training them? What is the reason why they are they have to sit there for over two hundred thousand years or twenty uh, two thousand years before coming back? Okay. What is the reason? Yeah, the reason is that merely Adam sinned in the beginning, 
judgment was given and the years were allotted. <laughs> so, so merely he seen this 5,500 years was allotted, mm -hmm. followed by 2,000 years, followed by 100, followed by 400, which is 8,000 years. So eight days. So apart from the seven days, there is an eighth day, which is present the 8,000 8, years. So merely he seen 8,000 years judgment of a timeline, mystery timeline was given. So now the first have passed, the 5,500 years. The second one is the 2,000 years. It's ending just next two years, 2024. I understand. Well, the mm -hmm. question I'm trying to ask is that since Jesus, Jesus came after 555... 5, 5,500 years. 5,500 years. Yes. Now when you die and you believe in him, yes. you don't go to prison. You don't go there. You go to Jesus. Yes, you go so to the I'm paradise. Asking, this... 15 people that are going to come. Yes. You said they are in paradise. Yes. How many years or months does it take for somebody to reincarnate when you die? You see, um, the issue of their coming back, uh, you see, if you, read, if you see here, after the 2000 years, which end at the year 2024, there is 100 years. I've written here AI. You see, uh, before Adam sinned, Satan has promised Adam and Eve that he will make them an enlightened people. You see? So that promise that he made to them, which caused Eve to create that problem, Satan is still trying his best to fulfill it. So within the 100 years, from the year 2024 to the year 2124, Satan will create a very high artificial kind of lightning power, which is the AI or the artificial intelligence power. The secret code is 1-9. But when that happens, it will last for only 100 years. And then the, the, the NI will begin because by that time, before the 100 years will end, the 15 people that have been prepared will be brought to the earth to bring the NI, which is the, what we call is 149, which is the natural intelligence. So the, 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 for, the, the form of so artificial intelligence you see now, there is the natural one that is about 100 times higher than the one you, you started experiencing now. From 2024, you see that artificial intelligence will increase will increase, and then it will create a whole lot of things that if a human beings, your body will, will, will be the, the portion for data. Your DNA will become data. Human DNAs, okay? Mm -hmm. Human DNAs will become places where data will be stored. Is it a plan or it is something that is holding them? This artificial intelligence, is it the reason, is, is the artificial intelligence the reason they are being held for this hundred years, or it is natural God's plan? Um, like Did I you get my question? I, I get you. Okay. What I'm trying to say is, the judgment was given from the beginning, mm -hmm. and the periods were are, are allotted. You see, mm -hmm. the four periods were allotted already. Okay. It means that the judgment is passed. Okay. So, according to the judgment, there is a first. The first period is five thousand five hundred years. The second period is 2,000 years. And that 2,000 years is the years of mercy. The years of what? Mercy. That's what ends in the year 2024, the next two years. Mm -hmm. After the next two years, from 2024 to 2124, that 100 years is the third period. That period no, is the period where it's like a challenge between what Satan wanted to give promise to Adam and Eve and what God promised to Adam. I understand this perfectly. My only problem is African superpowers. Mm -hmm. And how they are sitting there till then. If they come and it's left with only the land, what are they coming to become powerful for? And you see the situation we are in now. So I want to know if they being there till the time is God's plan or is something that is holding them. Well, actually, it's, there's nothing holding them. But it's something that God has already planned that after the 100 years, the 400 years, the last 400 years will begin for Africa. Will begin for Africa. That's for the, the natural intelligence, which is about many times 
higher than the artificial intelligence. So this situation that we are in, we are going to be in it for one more hundred years. Uh, it means our complete redemption. You see, the problem is, if what I'm explaining, if all the leaders, the presidents of the African nations, if they will understand very well, mm, mm. something good can start. That's what I want to. You see, because um, it is for the leaders to know the secret knowledge. What is the secret knowledge? The secret, Let's know about it. When they, when they get the secret knowledge, then they will, the secret knowledge will help them to, to unite to take a, 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 a concrete decision. So before these people come, there yes. is a secret knowledge we can apply. Yeah, that will start. And then they will concretize it. Then you see that uh, ECOWAS will be a nation, which will no more be there is Ghana, there is Cape, uh, there is So now what, there is, is this. what is preventing the African leaders to know this secret? Is it that they don't know or they don't want to know? What is preventing them is they have doubts about the future. So this time, with this your program, they will begin to understand that there is surety about the future of Africa. So they should begin the process of uniting. They are the rulers. So they have doubt that they are not working and it's not, it will not be good. Because when they are coming, they give us good promises. So why are they doubting? That is why today you and I are here to let them know that this is the future that is prepared for Africa. So they have to begin the process of receiving the wisdom that will create that future that we are talking about. Give me some of the wisdom, about three, four of them. Maybe somebody is watching. The person wouldn't want to call us. You know this, our leaders. When they want kings, sometimes because of the position they sit, they find it difficult to walk to someone to get any knowledge. Now, this is national television, and you said this program or this platform is going to help. So you are here, you have the keys, you have the wisdom. Release about four of them. I'm not saying you release all of them. For today, maybe I will talk about one. Okay, fine. There is a reason. Okay. Then in later programs, I will explain the rest. Awesome. Now, there is something that reduces our ability to tap into the truth of the supernatural. And for Africa, what is affecting us is that we allow the possessed body of dead people to be there without burying them before seven days. Huh? Say again, please. Say, say again. One of the secrets, mm -hmm. one of the secrets to unlock higher spiritual power is that when anybody dies, his body should not be there or his body should be buried before seven days. You are a king. You are a king, right? Yes. And you know that when you people die, we keep you for whatever reason. So why are you telling us this? Yeah. That is why today, this is a secret, one of the secrets that has hampered or that has, that has stagnated the divine power that the Africans are supposed to unleash. So if we really want to have to start what is supposed to happen in a hundred years time, if we really want to start today, then it means we should receive the wisdom about what we have to present and what we have to allow. What you just said is spiritual wisdom. Uh -huh. Now, you see, when somebody dies, after seven days, the body is occupied by a certain level of demons. So, for instance, you keep the person in the fridge. By the time you go for the person in about a month or two, that body is full of a very high level. We have a certain type of, I won't mention their name now, it will be later. At least one we have a certain level of demons that occupy one, said bodies. One. So at the time they are brought on board, the dead bodies are brought, are brought on board. On board mm -hmm. Everyone present, everyone present, present at the funeral. At the funeral, 
the, uh, the, the that uh, wisdom, that uh, spiritual wisdom, is uh, is blocked with the demons that comes with the dead. Body. Yes, it's blocked. So anybody who have access or contact or uh, proximity to that body will not be able to ascend into that the height of that height of divine wisdom. And this have continued over and over and over and over. Formerly, Africa started rising because they were not doing that. When somebody dies, they bury the person before seven days. So because of that, the wisdom started emerging very fast. So you see our ancestors do wonderful things. Even uh, we have in, uh, we had, uh, we have some of our ancestors, some of our ancestors Charlie, uh, Chala, they did wonderful things. They, they received supernatural wisdom. Because around that time, when somebody died, they buried the person before seven days. So there is no, that blockade, that blockage is not there. So all the presidents are also having this blockade. You see, that is, is, is I'm just mentioning, I'm just mentioning one. Mm -hmm. It's one of the reasons why we are not able to tap into the secret power and wisdom to be able to what? Unite to rise on and take what belongs to us okay so let's it's assume. just one it's just one just one okay so let's assume now it's we've passed a law mm. when somebody dies congratulations to, to all muslims mm. congratulations mm. Mm, because they will not if mm. that this is the problem can they have helped us mm, but we did we will put it there some one year we are paying then the, if it's one year, then the demons will be like millions. Hey! And the suffering keep increasing. The suffering keep Poverty increasing. Poverty and a whole lot of uh, uh, problems keep happening there and night because the demons have taken charge. Taking charge. Because so we have bodies. to do something. The gnosis about these things have to be made clear to our leaders. Because they have the power to enact law. They have the power to let people know that, no, let's go back to the olden days where somebody dies and within, before seven days he's, he's buried. Let's go back. Let's start going back. Then you see that the wisdom, the, 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 the wisdom, the divine wisdom uh, 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 knob will start opening up. Then you will see the kind of superpowers that people will develop in Africa. Okay. You are watching Revelations and we are talking about African superpowers. Now, yakasa sa na ya bedu level ni se eh nkrofo bi wo ho a onyame ahye si 15 people bi so mo be ba be liberate africa no ma be ma ya ya powerful ye ne be rule we as in asa se mo platform we ya te wo so sa na years no 80 years 100 ne ade na na ye me problem so or say there are some secrets a ye betimi a a e huna ya apply e be ma ye ye bre ne so at kakra I don't know what you want to do with it. Now, yes, I'm afraid demons. I buy a so. I'm a ohia. I buy a so. And to me, call back to no. And for this uh, talk, we this platform. Ordinary people watch. Spiritual people watch. People, it's a difficult platform. So now the dead bodies. You don't want to mention the demons yet. The demons that comes with the dead body after seven days. Mm -hmm. You don't want to mention yet, but try and give us one because I know spiritual people are also watching. They want to know what you are saying is true. And you know, you also watch this show. So give us one of the demons that comes with a dead body that also block people's uh, mindset. You want me to mention? One, one, just one. You want Not, one. Uh, just one. You said there are many. Yes, there are many. Don't do many, just one. One. To prove to whoever is watching that we know what we are saying. Okay. Asmodeus. Asmodi. Yeah, Asmodeus, yes. Uh, that's Asmodi. Mm -hmm. Asmodi is a spirit of fornication. Mm. So how what has it got to do with blocking of money? Uh -huh. It's a demon, it's one of the demons that immediately you get into contact with a dead body. It gets into you get access. To worry your brains with sex, it's because that, that, I that know is just, is, uh, that's one just one. Spirit. That's just one of his works. Okay, there are several dimensions of works that he does. That's just one. Okay, 
Uh -huh. That's just one. Uh -huh. So let's assume we've stopped, uh, we've passed a law uh -huh. that uh, everybody should bury his or her dead body in three days before seven days. Uh -huh. we are, let's all join the Muslim people and do what is right. So after that, if we do, okay, because you said there are many and you can't mention all of them, uh -huh. this is just one. So uh, let's assume uh, we've put all the secrets you have together. What will we see? Yes. If we have applied all the burying people and blah, 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 all we're supposed to do, what and what do you think would have changed, will change for this country? Okay. First, um, the burying, when they bury, let's say if someone dies and you bury the person within three days, and then you plan the funeral afterwards, you do the funeral afterwards. You know, for those, it will be difficult for they have one or one, one or two reasons we just, why. We just hmm. have to do away with the carcass. Yes, the carcass. Mm -hmm. Then you plan the funeral. Okay. Afterwards. Mm -hmm. So, um, if we start doing this, you realize that something will start happening within the penal glands of all Africans. Mm -hmm. And you realize that a certain kind of gifts will start manifesting within the children and the people. Preparing them. You'll be surprised the kind of, because when you look here, and, and the NI is supposed to start just after the, 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 the limitation of the AI. The NI is supposed to start. Let's put it artificial intelligence and natural and nat intelligence. That is. Let's put it so the natural that. intelligence will, they will begin its display. And when that happens, Africa will be an envy to the whole world. All you are saying right now that we should apply the divinities, uh, yes. uh, whatever that is in us, exactly. that is what makes us hate sin. And to say, you apply it. A lot of things will start changing. A lot of things will start changing. It is just one. This dead body is just one. So when we start, then the rest will become easy to follow, to follow, and you will see. So, okay, then, why don't we preach about eliminating sin? Or you, are you saying the corruption, the stealings, and all that that is going on, it's also the carcass that is causing it? You Can't see, we preach to people to repent? Yes, as for repentance, uh -huh. it's something that everyone knows that I'm supposed to do this, I'm not supposed to do this. You understand? All this is also controlled by the, the mind. Spirit. The that spirit. That is sitting on the mind. Exactly. So when clearance begins, you see that a lot of things will start changing. Okay, so we should deal with the spirits that controls the... So, so are you saying that we ourselves, we don't know that this is not good to do. Spirit have to control us before we know what to do and what not to do. There is influence. You see, there is influence. Before you think... Before you even think, you are already influenced from within. So if you have to go and do something evil, you are already influenced from within and led to do it. So if you reduce the power of that power, that, that spirit, then it means that it wouldn't have so much authority over you. And once something is wrong you are about to do, is you're, there, you're, you're listening more to the reminder that tells you, no, this one is not good. This one is not because the reminder becomes more powerful than the, 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 the evil demon. You, you are watching Revelations. The platform is open for sponsorship and advertisement. You can call us. Our number is on the screens for your sponsorship and your advertisement. My name is Mami Grace. I'm here with Togi. And we are talking about African super powers. And to, let me go back to Togi. Togi, okay, let's calm down a bit. When somebody dies, the way we bury him, the way we treat the dead body, has it got anything to do with the person's reincarnating? Uh, for that one, there are a lot of beliefs that people have. But uh, most of them uh, came as a result as, of uh, commandments of men. You understand? Uh -huh. When we get to that level of spirituality, we will come to will cut down some of the things that we do because some of the things are not true. They were just formulated by 
commandments of men mm-hmm. or men of the past. Mm-hmm. So um, that's what I'm saying. When we start, then the then noses, because uh, when it starts, people will begin to accept, to accept the wisdom. And do simple stuff. And do simple things. I asked because you said we should bury them um, in three days. That's why I came back to ask this question. So we clear the air to know yeah, whether... You, you know what? When you look into the book of Revelation mm-hmm. in the Bible, mm-hmm. uh, I think Revelation chapter 11, some, I learned, uh, when you read it, some two prophets died. And then the scriptures were saying that they were not allowed to be buried until the third day. Which means the scriptures is trying to tell us that they were supposed to have been buried. I don't know if you get me. I get you. Revelation chapter 11. He said the two prophets died and they were not allowed to be buried until the third day. Why? Because God who gave the revelation knows that that body is supposed to be, is supposed what? Not to be left there. About that, mm-hmm. there is one woman saw also married, mm-hmm. and when Saul died and there was a famine, mm-hmm. they hanged five of Saul's descendants. Mm-hmm. And the Bible said that woman wept till they brought them down to bury them bury. Uh, in five days. Exactly. So I understand. I, I asked that question to clear the air Good. so uh, they know that it wouldn't affect the person's reincarnation mm-hmm. or what have you. So we are going back to our superpowers. No, but before that, you also have to understand that mm-hmm. when the soul, if the soul, the body is not buried early, it affects the soul. Uh, that's what I want to yeah. so explain that. It affects you. the soul. Mm-hmm. And the soul cries so much because the moment the soul is, the, the body is buried, the, the soul is able to quickly make its way to where it has to go. Oh, so until the body is buried, the soul is not going? Yes. Really? Yes. You see, that is why merely someone is buried, it, it dies, the person has to, has to be buried so that the soul will make its, its, its journey. But if you don't bury the person, the soul hangs around, the soul gets worried. And when it hangs around, there are a lot of evil powers that it fights with. You understand? So let's help the souls by burying the bodies early. Wow. And then help ourselves also to what? Advance in divine wisdom. May I'm blocking your dream. Exactly. Hey. Hmm. Okay, let's come back to African superpowers. I'm mm. much interested in that. I, mean, I want to see that. I don't mm. want to die before this thing comes. So the little things that we can do. I want to ask, if somebody conjure, I don't have to use the word conjure, consult a spirit, consult a spirit, can this tell this dead body blockade disturb the person? If someone conjures, Cons- consult a spirit, uh-huh. a higher spirit, will this still that body demon blockade thing still disturb the person? You see, these kind of demons are very high level kind of demons. Okay, they are the first rank, I would say, rank of demons. There is one we call Samuel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They are very high rank of demons that. Um, you can't say you are conjuring something or to put their power down. No, no, no. They, are, they have authority. I ask this because I know this, our leaders that you are saying, they need this secrets to help us to be a bit flexible mm-hmm. before this 15 people prophecy come to pass. Mm-hmm. I know these people consult a lot of higher spirits you know when the election is coming they see prophecies and they consult them they have the nation prophet blah 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 that's why i'm asking so they consult all these spirits and they still blockade things still disturbs them you see uh, those demons i'm talking about they are demons that are very high ranking so most of those powers they a lot of people claim to consult and all that are below them. Are below them. They are below them. So what is necessary is to tap into the real divine power of that thing that the, gives the those creator, demons the source to operate. The source, the divine we power eliminate himself. It. Go to the power himself. That's the creator, God himself. 
That is divinity. Yes. The humanity. The divinity. Pressure no any low. Calm down. Now you're connected to the higher exactly. vibrations. Uh, via so we are currents. able to uh, understand. You are watching Revelations, and I am here today with uh, Tommy. We are discussing kakas. Kakas na yeye pay you gana for. Yeye pay you mi wu obi anso awe wu awu siye no chana obeka se me wu me unkosonda. Now being so bad platform, it's also only people who are three and a half days and sana we so who can say you bury on three days? That was we are we will be burying people alive. No, you see, we have uh, we have if um, let's say someone is brain dead, okay. That's why once immediately someone dies, the doctor have to check to see if the person uh, is truly dead or not. You understand? Uh -huh. So the issue of uh, three days and all that for the soul, it's, it stands there until you get the body is buried. The body has to be buried. Is there is there any spirit that we can conjure to put the soul back into the body? You see, that one is done is done by certain demons. I just told you, certain demons attack the soul if the, the body is not buried. So um, trying to get the soul to get back into the body that one should be done by a higher power which is from god or from the other side you see if it's from god then it means that that soul is not supposed to die yet so if it's possible then why do we have to be me me who are now here in tamako see me maybe i'm going to go back to my body go back charlie now my family i control my body naturally is it okay oh no you see that's why I said if someone dies, the doctors will ascertain if the person is dead. Have you witnessed somebody not? who is then dead and the doctors have ascertained that this person is dead and has come back? Have you experienced or heard this before? Oh, yes, yes, yes. You, you, you hear some. So it, it, yes. so it simply means we have to take our times in burying people. No, what I'm saying is the doctor, the doctor testing the dead body to see if the person is dead or not. Sometimes the person had gone into this coma you understand if it's in the coma the doctor can know if you check you can know if the person is, is, is gone into coma you can know and if he's dead too you can know that he's dead you can confirm it. yes you can confirm that he's you dead. are watching revelations it's a beautiful conversation but our time is almost due so we am giving you three minutes i want you to tell Ghanaians, especially in Africa as a whole, all blacks, mm -hmm. the hope that we have, what we should do for what we are going through. Yes, what I want Ghana and Africa to know is that we have a very great future, and this future needs each and every individual to know the truth to emancipate our minds to emancipate our souls from things that have entangled or imprisoned us with what i'm saying today if every Ghanaian or every african will understand and begin to take these steps in fact the next few years will be years of restoration there will be years of transformation and the superpower is coming in such a way that what you see as poverty will be no more and foreign nations will come and borrow from us here in africa so today i'm giving you the assurance that with this kind of wisdom and even understanding the nature of God, by which you know that when you see your fellow individual, you have seen God. When you do good to him, you have done to God. When you do bad to him or her, you have done to God. If we begin to understand these things, that the mobile God, the movement of the mobile God after the dictionary God, creating a DNA within us, which means God is within us, then it means that a great change will begin to come. Finally, I would also want every Ghanaian 
to cleanse his or her blood with this medicine. This cleanses the blood. It's for general well-being. It's an antibacterial agent and also an antiviral agent. Once you take this, then you know that as your blood is being cleansed, there are so many sicknesses that wouldn't hurt you or wouldn't harm you. All sicknesses that happens to us is a result of mucus in our body. So this one clears the mucus away. So I invite every Ghanaian, especially once you are 25, 30, 40 years and above, you need cleansing of your arteries all the time. Okay. You need cleansing of your arteries all the time. What do you have to say about Revelation? See, one minute, one second. In fact, Revelation is the best platform so far. Because this Revelation's platform is an enlightenment for the African continent. So Africa, wake up and take your destinies into your own hands. Thank you. You are watching Revelations. My name is Mami Grace and I'm here with Togbi. Revelations, you will gain your consciousness by force at once. Same time next week, Mami Grace will come your way with another episode. Thank you for watching. God bless us all. This program is fully sponsored by Global Eagle Revival Outreach Ministries, a not-for-profit organization. To support our broadcast to reach others like you, kindly send support to Zenith Bank, Ghana. Account number. 6012402066 Account name Global Eagle Revival Outreach Ministries La Trade Fair Branch Burma Camp Mobile Money Account Merchant 0544859007 Name Global Eagle Revival Outreach Ministry Reference Revelations or TWMG Time with Mommy Grace